everyone uh, how are you all i hope you are doing extremely good so today let's solve this problem maximum number of alloys from the weekly contest 363 so after seeing this question we can see there are lot of variables declared over here and we feel like bit complex but if we understand the problem statement and each and every variable clearly then we can solve this problem very easily so first let's break down this question here you are he is saying that you are the owner of a company that creates alloys using various type of materials uh, alloys is something alloys is something which is like if we mix two metals then we can form an alloy and there are n different type of metals available and you have to access to k machines that can be used to create alloys uh, he has given n different in different metals he has given in different metals and he had given k machines k machines which different decompositions like alloys is something which can be formed with different decomposition like 10% of iron and 90% of aluminum if we combine these two we can form a one alloy if we increase the uh, iron quantity to 20% and uh, decrease the aluminum quantity to 80% then we can form some other alloy so there are different machines and each machine has different composition and each machine will form a different alloy each machine requires a specific amount of each metal type to create so in machines he will give the compositions like for how much like if you see here he is given composition 1 is to 1 is to 1 and if you see 1 is to 1 is to 10 he will give the different compositions uh, is saying that and initially you have the cost you have the stock uh, before starting i have some stock left in the go down in the given so that uh, in go down we have some sort of stock in stock that can be used to prepare an alloy and if the stock is completed if the stock is completed and i can purchase using cost here we have cost so if my stock is completed then with the cost uh, for every metal he has given some cost with that cost we can purchase that metal so that our stock can be increased so here you are given an uh, integer n k n n is like number of a number of metals k is the number of machines he is saying that budget budget is something uh, if you use all the cost uh, cost of metal it should be less than or equal to the budget so we can use that then he is given the composition then he is given the stock then he is given the cost okay everything is given so let's understand like uh, for the first machine to create an alloy to create two alloys we need to buy two units of first type and two units of second type and the two units of third type in the composition he is same right one 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 so he is saying that i will make two alloys if you make two alloys the composition should be two 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 so uh, everything stock is zero there is no stock in the go down then he has given the cost if we say uh, 2 into 1 is the like first type, 2 into 2 is the second type, 2 into 3 is the third metal. So we have given 12 coins and it is less than the budget. So we can say okay we can make mostly of 2 coins. If you see I want to make 3 coins. If I want to make 3 alloys sorry. 3 alloys then I will get 3 into 1 plus 3 into 2 plus 3 into 3. How much will my answer? 9, 6 and 3. 9, 6, 3. What is my answer will be? 15 18 18 which is greater than the budget so you can't make it and and for the second input if you see he has given the composition and he is given some stock and he is saying that i can make until five units are you saying that i can make until five allies so if you see if you want to make five allies you want this uh, the composition he has to given is one one and ten i want to make this this composition to five and and this composition to 5 and we have uh, 10 composition now if you see the stock this is 0 this is 0 stock is 0 so i need stock 5 and here i need stock 5 but if you see if we here we need stock 5 we need stock 5 mm, sorry i can explain you in much easier way uh, if you see this if you see composition is one one 
and 10 1 1 and 10 to create 5 alloys we need to buy suppose this composition is 1 1 and 10 to make 5 alloys uh, this should be this composition should be 5 this composition should be 5 and this thing should be 50 right if it is 50 only then we can say 1 is to 1 is to 10 this this need to be 50 so if you see for this these are my uh, requirement this is the requirement now the if you see the stock stock is 0 0 and 100 now if you see i have no stock for this uh, for the element one so i will use five this for this element i have no stock so i will use five and for this we have extra amount we have 100 so we have more stock we cannot use so we are taking zero then five five and we have cost one two three and we will multiply five plus five into two ten fifteen which is less than or equals to budget so i can tell it until five so if you see if you see uh, if you know like uh, if you know exactly if i want to make some uh, mid uh, mid or you can say anything like if you want to make this many elements this many how you can do that how you can do that we can just multiply with the composition right we can just multiply with the composition suppose if you want to make suppose if you if you want to make five uh, five alloys if you want to make five alloys so we can just multiply with the composition 5 ones are 5 and 5 ones are 5 in the same way we are mid is multiplying with the composition and 5 tens are 50 if you multiply this if you multiply we are storing into the vector v now we are storing into the vector v now now we are directly subtracting now what you are saying okay this is my requirement and this is the stock i have so we are we need to subtract right v of x minus stock of x if it is greater than 0 then we are taking it or else we are making it is 0 because if you see here 50 and 100 the difference is minus 50 so we will take the maximum value and and we need to multiply with the cost right and we have cost cost to the uh, each element so we have to multiply at the end c plus v of x into cost of y if the budget is if the cost is greater than the budget we are breaking and we are returning c is less than or equals to budget we are returning true true or false so if if you know the fixed amount if you know the fixed amount it's easy to calculate uh, how much uh, how much money i required to uh, to be, uh, to construct that many alloys so he is saying that it is a maximum number of alloys that can be created that can be okay uh, now if you see maximum number of alloys so how we can do that if you if you think like you will get an approach if you can think of binary search okay binary search why binary search uh, if we if you make some k elements if you make some k elements uh, if the budget if the cost is less than or equals to budget we can uh, in the left side if you go to the left side this all we can make k minus 1 k minus 2 and k minus 3 so my maximum answer can be k but if you go to the right side we can determine like if we can get the more answer uh, more answer that's why this computation is not required that's why we are going towards the right side if if this k is failing like for the k uh, if you want to make k allies if the, my cost is greater than the budget we can say if it is k plus 1 k plus 2 k plus 3 we can say okay it's never be constructed k plus 1 is never uh, we can never make k plus 1 uh, alloys using this metal so we will not compare this we will come towards the left side it is the same way we are taking low and high and we are using different compositions like he has given compositions length as you can see here k k is 100 total he has given composition length as 100 100 and we are taking low and high we are calculating the mid if this is true if it is true we are going towards the right side to get the maximum composition if it is false we will come to the left side left side to get the uh, maximum compositions maximum composition which is maximum so and finally we will calculate the answer answer is max of answer comma s s is something which is for different compositions and the answer is for the all compositions and finally we are going to return the answer if you see what will be the time complexity in this binary search will take log of log of 10 power 9 10 power 9 into uh, this is 100 
this is 100 and in the each iterations in the each iterations we are maximum n n means 100 100 into 100 this would be my time time complexity we can say order of n into log n log n and what will be my space i am using the extra space as vector so this will be my extra space uh, that's it i hope you understood this solution uh, if you understood this please like and do subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching